So, we had the Clippers trying to take care of business against these uh, young uh, Blazers, the Shaden, Charlotte, Trailblazers who are playing for nothing and the Clippers are fighting to stay in that fifth seat so they don't have to play in the plane. And it started off pretty badly for them, man. Shaden sharp from deep. And the Blazers, man, they do have some fight in them. You know, they have nothing to play for, but, you know, the young guys are going to play hard, which is great to see, man, because not all of them would, but Russ... Raz has been hooping, Raz has been playing really well and it's great to see for the Clippers and just overall, I didn't like Raz back, you know, back then, but I like him really now, so I'm happy to see him ball out and play really well and he has been great. Nico Batum from the corner and the Clippers got finally going against these Blazers in this third quarter after a rough first half, especially defensively, Kawhi with the jab steps, man, and... He just pulls up in your face and knocks it down and the Clippers finally got away and, uh, you know, got separation against these Blazers and Norman Powell continues his sixth man of the year case, even though that's probably a long lost cause, but he should be a finalist still if, if they do, uh, if I, they are doing in fact finalists, but the Clippers take care of business, are the fifth seed now. If they win against the Suns tomorrow, who are arresting Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton and Devin Booker, they will be the 15th and set up a first round series in Phoenix against the Kevin Durant Suns, which will be really interesting. We'll do a full breakdown of that, of course, on the channel, but let me know your thoughts, uh, your gut feeling, man. Who do you take if the series is to the Clipper Suns, which it should be if you know nothing goes wrong uh let me know who, who you, what does your gut tell you man no analysis nothing just let me know what your gut tells you is it suns is it clippers and it's gonna be fun man we're gonna break it down soonish and it's great that the clippers took care of business and they need to t do it tomorrow also they should have all available all players available except of course for paul george who is hurt but everyone else should be available on a back-to-back -back. and Shout out Russ, man. I want to really shout out Russ here. 26 and 6 tonight. He's been playing really well, man. I just like what I'm seeing from Russ. The energy is great. The play has been better. It just seems to fit a lot more with the Clippers here. And I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him, really. And yeah, that's what sport is all, sports is all about, man. Uh, Norman Pavel, I want to give you shout outs to him, of course. He is a six-man of the year candidate, but Malcolm Brogdon's gonna win it. Emmanuel quickly should be the second. Uh, should be second there, should be the second. And yeah, and last but not least, let me give shout outs to these Blazers, man. They, you know, they are a bunch of young guys that are trying to fight. Of course, you see that Jonathan Williams doesn't even have a, a NBA that NBA photo official, right? So, and Justin Minaya. So shout out to these guys for, you know, getting some minutes and living out their dreams, hopefully. Uh, always great to see, and they didn't look half bad at all, right? And uh, the effort was really great, especially in the first half from these Blazers. Shout out Shaden Sharp, we all know he's gonna be, well, I'm not sure if we all know, but I feel like he's gonna be a really good player pretty soon, right? He's already shown really good flashes, he has the unreal athleticism, hopefully he's able to stay healthy, and uh, a lot of things look good for him, and I feel like he has a good feel for the game, he knows the fundamentals pretty well, and he just has a smooth game and it just feels smooth when you watch him. And if the shot is going to go down, he's going to be one hell of a threat, man. And uh, uh, it's great to see. He seems he seems just fun, man. And what more do you want from these than sympathetic fun guys, man? That's, that's always great to root for, right? And shout out Trenton Watford. Always liked him when he played for the Blazers when I watch him play. A little inconsistent, but... I feel like he could be a role player somewhere where he could be real impactful. Not sure if that's it in Portland. And Kevin Knox at 30 and 11. Shout out to him, man. Fortnite legend.